In this video we are going to look at how to enable automatic updates on Ubuntu 22.04. First start by updating your system. In case it is not installed, install the unattended upgrade on your Ubuntu system using the following command. On my system it is already installed. Verify using the following command. As you can see it is active and running. Let us now configure unattended upgrades. Let us start by looking at the 20 auto upgrades file. The file has two lines as you can see. The first line handles the update of the package lists. And the second one handles the automatic upgrades. The value 1 inch means the setting is enabled. And if you want to disable either of them, just change the 1 to 0. If you change the number to 2, this will make automatic upgrades to be checked every other day. It is recommended you leave the file the way it is. To configure individual elements and define the parameters for the auto updates, you can configure the unattended upgrades file. By default only security updates are set to be automatically installed as shown. Therefore for security updates no action is needed. If you also want to include package updates then you can simply remove the two forward slashes in front of updates. This is the same as running sudo apt update in your terminal. If you enable this setting the system will start installing updates which are still in the testing phase. I don't think you should enable this one. You can also enable backports if you need to. If you want to block updates for any packages, such as Apache, Nginx, Myriad B then the unattended upgrade package blacklist section of the configuration file will enable you to block these from updating. If you want to receive email notifications scroll down and find this line. To receive notifications, you need to configure an email server. You can install Postfix to configure SMTP relay to external SMTP servers. You can also receive email updates in case an update goes wrong, for example when security updates fail. Change this line to this to accomplish that. You can also enable an automatic reboot by changing this line to true.
You can change this line for the system to reboot even if they are users logged in. You can choose the time the update will occur by uncommenting this line and setting the time you want. After making changes you can save the file and exit. You can test your configurations by running this command thanks for watching and please like and subscribe to my channel.